There are several options for treatment infertility care depending on a patient's uh, situation. In some cases, intrauterine insemination may be the appropriate first choice. And in some cases, a method called in vitro fertilization may be the first option. The choice between the two may have to do with clinical factors that are not necessarily so obvious to the patient. Insemination, or intrauterine insemination, sometimes referred to as IUI, is often really a treatment for sperm when concentrations of sperm are inadequate uh, to achieve pregnancy through time intercourse. In vitro fertilization allows us to take eggs and sperm together into the laboratory to create embryos, which are then transferred to the uterus later in treatment. As women get older, the quality of their eggs diminishes and the ability to conceive in a single ovulatory cycle decreases because of the number of available eggs that can be fertilized. This can be maximized by doing in vitro fertilization, where a significantly larger number of eggs than would normally be ovulated can be brought into the laboratory to create embryos. The concern, of course, with all fertility treatment is the possibility of a multiple pregnancy, and especially a higher order multiple pregnancy like a triple. When eggs are ovulated in the abdomen and fertilized there, we lose control over the number of embryos that are created. When we have them in the laboratory, we do pick the best embryos to put them. In that manner, in vitro fertilization is often a much more efficient process because we can get more embryos, but select fewer to return to the uterus. And with newer technologies that surround IVF, we can even better select embryos, sometimes choosing just a single one to go back. IVF is often the most efficient treatment to begin with. There are studies in which patients who undergo either IVF or insemination typically do better with IVF initially, but that even with the insemination procedures, they often end up still requiring IVF. And at the time and cost factor of doing the insemination procedures is often a complete uh, inefficient management of the patient. For whom that is true will depend on your clinical scenario and this is best discussed with your doctor.